Hey, it's Dr. Rahal. It's Monday. We're in the operating room. This morning we have a 360 lipo BBL procedure. We're also going to be doing J plasma. This patient uh, is in her 30s. She's about 5'5 and 160 pounds. And you're going to see a very dramatic transformation in terms of how tight I get her waist and how flared I get her hips. She wants to have a waist to hip ratio of approximately 0.6. This is something we cover in the consultation and we'll be showing you during surgery how it is that we accomplish those dramatic waist to hips ratios. There's four steps to liposuction and the first step is SST, simultaneous separation into mesin. All that means is that we go in with this device which oscillates, which moves back and forth and then we also to mess, we add fluid. That gets the tissue, the fat, ready to be harvested or removed. So step one is SST. Step two is to go back and further separate the fat. You want to get the fat separated from all the adjacent structures because it allows it to be taken out very easily and very smoothly. Third step is to actually take it out and then the fourth step equalization is to make sure everything looks nice, even and smooth. Let's show you the before. This is gonna be before 360 lipo. I come up very high. This is the armpit, this is the back. So I'm gonna get all this fat out of her back, upper back, mid back. This is the flank or the waist. This is the hip roll, put an H for hip roll. When I transfer fat, I'm gonna build up the outer portion of her buttock to give her more of a round shape. I'm gonna build up her outer thigh, which is here. Then I'm gonna add equal amounts of fat above and below the mid buttock area to equally volumize both upper and lower half of the butt and we're gonna give her some nice projection. This is where the magic happens here. When all this fat is cleared out, it sinks in, creates a beautiful waistline. When you combine that with fat grafting over here, that's what really gives that dramatic waist to hip ratio. It's really addition, subtraction, addition, subtraction. We're adding fat here, we're taking out fat from here. The next step, we finished performing liposuction. Our next step is to inject fat. There are different methods for injecting fat. I use EBL expansion vibrational lipofilling. It simply means that we use this device, the same cannula, and we inject fat. You'll see fat comes out of the cannula while it's moving. What this allows us to do is to really break up any areas of resistance with this device, and at the same time, place fat exactly where we want it. I do think it's a safer technique and a little bit more effective than just using syringe. Here's the after, very dramatic change. When we talk about waist to hip ratios, it just means how tight the waist is compared to how flared the hips are. So she has a pretty tight waist to hip ratio, it's probably around 0.65. And you can see all the fat's been taken out, there's nothing left, that's the pinch. So super, super thin pinch, very, very little. Transferred 1500 cc's of fat, very full, pretty result. Keep in mind that after any BBL, whatever we transfer, patients retain about 50 to 60% of the volume. This is gonna be before J plasma. I'm gonna just pull up on the skin. So this is the abdominal wall skin that is loose. So we use the same incisions as lipo. Come in and then activate the device. When we, acti we activate it, different depths, multiple passes. So we go very close to the skin. Then we go a little deeper, then we go even more deeper. And this allows really maximal retraction of loose skin. 360 lipo, fat transfer, NJ plasma surgery takes about three and a half hours. It's general anesthesia, recovery, plan a week off of work, 
If you can take two, take two, it's gonna be better, but one week minimum. Try not sitting directly on your butt for one week. We give you the pillow for that first week, and final result is at three months.